I would like to welcome my PTL2 students in this tutorial video about online assessment. So since there are lots of free uh, online platforms for you to assess or evaluate the learning of your students, you'll be using one of those. And that is the what we call Google Forms. Okay, so without much ado, I would like to demonstrate how you are to make use of that feature of Google. So all you need to do is to have a Google account, although it is a personal account, but the, the form feature of, of that uh, website is also free. Okay, you can make use of it in your online teaching. Okay, so you ha also have to have an internet connection for you to be able to create an online test or online assessment using that platform. Without much ado, let me share with you this screen, that my screen so that I'll be able to demonstrate how you are to use the, the platform. Okay, so you just have to, have to log into your Google account. So since I have logged in already to my Google account, okay, I just have to go to this Google Apps features for me to choose uh, the feature that I wanted to use in this Google account of mine. So click on the Google Apps here, then look for Google Forms. Okay, so these are the available uh, applications which are free to use. Okay, and one of those is the what we call forms, wherein you can use it if you want to create a survey or collect data, data from your students or make a test, no, or create a test. So click on the forms to go to that the feature. And if you don't have uh, if, if you don't have files uh, visible there in your Google Forms uh, account or form. Uh, window it's okay because it, this is maybe the first time you will be uh, creating a quiz or google quiz no or online quiz using the forms so look for the plus arrow at the bottom corner of your screen here so we have here two if you point at that we'll display you the create new form button then choose template button okay so you can just go directly to the create new form it will open you the blank form, okay, wherein you can enter or create an assessment or collect data form that will enable you to collect data. But if you want to choose a template, okay, you can click it here. And this is what I want to introduce now because you can choose a template, okay, which you need for your uh, assessment no? or forms creation. So let's look for, okay for education okay so since we want to assess the learning of our students and we are teachers okay you can choose this blank quiz okay this one that has a check sign here because it will allow you to check right away or automate the checking of your test okay especially if it is a multiple choice type of test so click at that okay it is being loaded this will appear and then here you can start making your online quiz. So name this uh, quiz so that you can easily identify the content of that particular quiz and specify maybe the name of the subject no, of that uh, quiz. So let's say TTL2 or ICT1, okay? Uh, what is the topic, okay? So do you have idea later about what, con what contents you expect in this test? And you can mine the items in this quiz of yours later because you can create another quiz out of this you can copy this quiz later and edit the content and so on okay so basic concepts supposed of computer so specify here the instruction as to how your students will answer the quiz and what they expect from the quiz how they will be scored okay so read carefully the items and select the option of the correct answer you have to really specify or have the direction or specific direction as to how they'll answer the test your your have you have unlimited attempts in attempts okay attempts in this quiz and your highest score will be recorded 
recorded. Suppose this is already the instruction. Okay, so make it clear. It is already clear to the students that they can that they can have multiple retries or they can they have unlimited attempts. They can as long as they wanted to, to try again and again to retake the test and their highest score will be the final one. So let's start it. So first, what type of test do you want to create? Okay, so the default type of test here is multiple choice. If you want to change it because you want to have an identification type of test, you can select short answer. Or if you want to have an essay type of test, you can select paragraph. If you need to collect data from them using check boxes, can select check boxes, drop down, file upload. If you want to collect file, there are activities, click file upload, linear scale, and you can change the how how it is, you know, how the options are presented or displayed. You can select also the linear scale, multiple choice grid, check box grid, and so on. But if you want to have insert date and time, you can do so, okay? Just click it here. Okay, so I want multiple choice. So since this is basic concepts of computer, the items of course leads to that topic. Okay, in the kita, we cannot give a test that is not uh, that has no bearing with the topic. Okay, so first question, it refers to the uh, physical components of the computer. Okay, specify the option. Option one, let's say hardware. Option two, click software. Okay, software. Option three, just click add option here. Data. Next, we have people. So we only have four options. Usually we have four. If you don't have options or if you added another option and you, you want to delete or remove it because you only want to have four, just click X uh, icon here or click remove, okay? Okay, so that's it. Uh, this is our first item. So to specify the answer and the point you want to give to the particular item, just have to click answer key here. So select the correct answer, or please specify first the point. I want to give this with uh, this item two points. And the answer, correct answer is here is hardware, click hardware. And if it's done, then click done button, then we'll be able to go back to this uh, uh, question or normal view of your uh, form. So to add more content or to add more items in this test, you click duplicate button. It will duplicate the first item, but you, you have to edit it, okay? So next, it refers to the instruction. Okay, so second item. It refers to the instruction to the set of instructions that tells the hardware what to do. So suppose that is my second uh, I, uh, question. And the, the options are just the same because the correct answer is already here, okay? But if, if you have different set of options, you can just change it, okay? Just click and change and type the new one. So the correct answer here is software. So to specify the correct answer, because the, in the first item, the correct answer is hardware, I want to change it. Just click answer key, okay? Then click software and then uncheck or unselect the hardware. Okay, otherwise two of them will be the correct answers. So click the done button if you're done. So also, if you want to add a picture in your uh, statement, okay, you just have to click here, then select the picture you want to add if there's a need, okay? But since I don't need it, just close, I'll close it. Okay, so third item. Okay, so again, just duplicate, then change the content. So it refers to, or they are, the change book. They are the ones that operates and use the computer. Okay, so. The correct answer is answer key. I just want to give this one point. So I just the, the point uh, value here and select the correct answer and select the wrong one. Okay, the the answer in the first in the, the copy the 
item. Then click done. So all in all, if this are just the content of my quiz, you can see here the total points. It's it were five points, okay? Because I have two points in the first item, two points in the second item, and one point in the third item. So this is just the basic, okay, by basic way of how you are to create a quiz using this Google Forms. Okay, there are lots of features which you need to learn more about this, but these are just the basic that I want you to be to learn because I want you to be comfortable first of how you are to make use of this platform in your online assessment. Okay, so if it is done, you are ready to share this to your students, but of course there are some settings that we have to consider in this form. So for you to be able to set to perform some settings, click at the settings tab here. Okay. So let's make this a quiz, yes. Immediately, at least quiz, immediately after submission, yes, they can view their score right away after they submit that test. Missed questions, okay. Do you want that your students will see the missed question? Ako ayaw ko. So that they will not uh, copy the, the answer. Correct answer, I don't want also, but it, it's your choice, okay. To me, I, I just want to change the setting into no points of course i want them to see how many points each uh, item will be okay then the point value for every question so i don't want to have any default point value because i want to set it indiv manually individually so responses click at arrow down here to view the content of the responses setting so i want to collect the email address because i want to know who are those students who take the test and to whom I will be crediting the score. Okay, this is this may way of knowing who the students okay are. So response can okay do the settings here. I don't want to allow editing, and I don't want to limit to one response. I want them to have a unlimited responses. So let's move on to the presentation. Progress bar. I want to show them a progress bar as they take the test. I want to shuffle the question order. Okay, I want to show the link to submit and the response. Yes, I, I can change it. Okay, you can also change the uh, message, confirmation message if they're already done with their test. Like congratulations for completing the quiz or taking the quiz, whatever it is that you want to tell them after they submit the test or they are done with the test. Next. Okay. So summary, no, I don't want to show the result summary. Okay, next. Select image address, no, I don't want to set it. Make questions required by default, no, see it. So let's go back. If you, you want to see the responses later, if your students had responded to your test, you can click at here. Okay, so since there's no response, no, I haven't shared yet this uh, form. Of course, they'll not uh, take the quiz yet because Okay, no, they don't know this uh, form yet. Okay, you can see here anyway, there are responses already. Okay, you will see who had responded to your test and their scores and, and the, the correct answers they had or the missed, answer, uh, the, the missed questions they have and so on. Next, we have questions. I would like to go back to the questions. I want each question uh, options to be reshuffled. So to do that, I have to click at the button here okay then click shuffle option order that means the options will be reshuffled okay next shuffle the shuffle option order and then shuffle option order so that's it so if you are done with the settings and good to send this to your students and ready for uh, distribution okay then you have to click send button, okay? Click send button to send this to your students. You can either email to them, example, uh, Helen, where does it say pc.edu.ph? I want to send this to Helen. And to, who else you want to send this uh, uh, test? No, you can do it in email. Then click send. That's it. That Helen will be able to see your email, okay? Example, of I want to check, okay, I want to answer your test. 
Okay, this is my email. I will be checking it in my Gmail account, the sent test. The sent link, this is already, this is the link that you have sent to me. So click fill out form. And this is already the quiz that you had created for me, so I'll answer it. So Helen, email Helen Perlas at sipc.edu.ph. So answer, oh, answer the test, people, software, people. Okay, click submit. Your response has been recorded. Click view score. And my score is zero out of five. I have wrong answers in all the items. Oh my God, I can, I, I, I can still take the test if I want. So, okay. So I will just go back to, to retake the test. I will just go back to the link then click again, fill out form. I have already responded. Something is wrong with my... Okay, with, with my settings. Okay, I'll go back to the test. I'll adjust. Okay, you can already see the responses here. There is one response. Okay, and that's me. I had zero score. Okay, so I want to edit the questions, the settings, because... Parang hindi ako makaritik ng test. Ah, because I sent this limit or one response, dapat dinisable ko to. So that I can, I can again submit another response. Okay. So that's it. Okay, so I can just perform the test again as under Helen. I'll go back to that link that is sent to me by my teacher. Okay, I refresh ko lang po yung aking email. Click fill out form and then I can again answer the test. Okay, so again, specify yung email address, Helen Perlas at sipc.edu.ph. Then answer the test. Software, people, then hardware. Submit. You score. Okay, I have a perfect score. So that's it. Okay, and suppose I would like to go back to the, the question. Okay, share screen again. Okay, suppose I want to go back to the question I have created earlier. Where is it? Okay. So this is the question that I've created. So I have two responses already. Okay, questions. And I want to send it again to another platform. Okay, at this time, I will be sending the link to a messenger account. Okay, so I'll click at, at the, the link here. I'll just click shorten URL to shorten the link. And then I'll copy this link, okay? Click copy button or right click copy. It can also be, okay? Then go to your Facebook, okay? To your Facebook account. Then send this to your students or to your group chat, to the group chat. Okay. So I'll send this to my students. I'm still loading the Facebook, okay. Suppose, oops. I'll look for my students, uh, mayor. Then si mayor na lang forward sa klase, parang ganun. So it depends on your strategy. You can also post the link or paste the link and send it to your group chat if you have. Okay, so suppose I want to send it to Helen Perlas. Okay, Helen Perlas. Helen, less. Okay. So I'll just paste here the link, then send. Okay. So Helen will be able to see this link. PTL2 basic concept of computer. Then click on the link. Then Helen will be able to answer it in any device. 
as long as there is internet connection and as long as the device is capable of okay, opening that link, that messenger link or that form, okay? Then she'll be able to answer the test. Okay, so example at, oops. Okay, answer the test. Okay, then click submit and view score one out of five. So that's it. Okay, so as okay, so that would be all. You can already see that there is already there are already three responses. You can view the responses here. Okay, so it's seven per less, it's HP, and it's each F. You can view their score. And when did they take the test? Okay, so this are the data. So you can also view each item. Kung tama ba yung sagot nila, ilan nakatama, ilan yung mali, something like that. The, 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 you can also perform this what called item analysis, okay, using the Google form. So that's it. But of course, don't forget to rename, okay, the test. This one, so that you'll be able to identify. Oops. Copy, then paste here the name of the test. Okay, so every time you change, it automatically saves or it automatically saves by the Google, by the application, the site, the website. So you don't have to click on save to update the change that you have done in this form. Okay, so that's it. If you go back to your forms home, you will see the name of the test. It's TTL to basic concept of computer. Okay, so that's it. So that would be for our Google Forms uh, lesson. And I hope I can help you more in other features of the Google site or Google applications, especially the Google Forms. God bless everyone.